Hello guys, David here and welcome to BTECT. A few days ago, OnePlus launched the OnePlus 7 series, which is two new handsets, the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7 Pro. So OnePlus were kind enough to have given me a OnePlus 7 Pro for review, but for the regular OnePlus 7, I got to see it for the first time at the launch event in London. The OnePlus 7 Pro is an absolute beast, built to compete with the likes of the ultra premium Samsungs and Apples of this world. The regular 7 falls more in line with what OnePlus are known for, which is providing high spec premium devices, but at a much lower price than the competition. Before I go on, I want to say a big thank you to Direct Mobiles. They have over 24 years of award-winning customer service, which is just one of many reasons why it's a great place to go to get your new phone. They even have comparison tools, so you're bound to find the best deal. Check down in the video description below for a link or search directmobiles.co.uk. I think the OnePlus 7 Pro has kind of stolen some of the thunder of the OnePlus 7 because for the £499 starting price, this is a really good phone and there are a few reasons why you might want to go with the 7 over the Pro. The first is the size. It's a 6.4 inch optic AMOLED display on the OnePlus 7, 1080 by 2340 resolution with a 19.5 by 9 screen aspect. And it's a flat screen, not curved like the Pro, which some people do prefer. There's no fancy pop-up camera draining your battery life here, just a nicely shaped dewdrop style notch and the same 16 megapixel front camera that's on the Pro. It looks very similar to the OnePlus 6T from the front, which isn't a bad thing. The fingerprint scanner lives underneath the display and has been souped up and improved over the OnePlus 6T with a larger three lens plastic array under there to read your imprint, making unlocking much quicker and easier than before. Like the more expensive Pro, it runs the new 7 nanometer Snapdragon 855 and comes with either 6 gigs or 8 gigs of RAM and up to 256 gigs of ultra fast UFS 3.0 storage. The memory is not expandable though, so you might want to bear that in mind, especially if you go for the 128 gigabyte model. The OnePlus 7 comes equipped with stereo speakers, which is great for a mid-range phone. I didn't get a chance to hear them at the launch, but they are the same stereo speakers that are in the Pro and I know that they sound good, plenty of volume and decent bass. The most obvious difference between this and the Pro is that there's one less camera lens on the back. It's a dual system just like its predecessor, however this time there's four times as many pixels with the very popular at the moment Sony IMX586 sensor and it has a 5 megapixel secondary sensor for depth information. Now there's a good reason why this sensor keeps popping up in flagship phones in 2019. It combines four pixels into one to give you a 12 megapixel shot. The sensor has a relatively small pixel pitch at 0.8 microns, but after combining all its pixels and working its magic, it is the equivalent of a 1.6 micron sensor, giving it particularly good performance in low light. Typically, the larger pixels, the more light can be gathered, resulting in less reliance on ISO, which introduces noise. The sensor is also supported by both optical and image stabilization and has an f1.7 lens. We get all the same video features that we do with the Pro, including 4K video at 60 frames per second and super slow-mo at 480 frames per second for up to one minute. One slight issue that I have with the OnePlus 7 is that it's only available in one color, mirror gray in the UK at least. The Chinese market will see two colors, mirror gray and red. Don't get me wrong, mirror gray looks great, but I would like to have seen some more vibrant colors, like on the Pro models. I guess that's just their way of convincing you to spend the extra money and get the Pro. If it is, then it's worked on me. The battery is slightly down on the Pro model. We get a 3,700 milliamp hour battery and I've got a feeling that this handset, not having to run the 90 hertz screen or power a pop-up selfie camera might actually last just as long, if not longer than the Pro model. I'll say it again, I really think the Pro has stolen the shine from this device because what we have here is just 30 pounds more than the incredible Google Pixel 3 AXL and it shares much of the same stuff that makes the Pixel great including stereo speakers, an OLED display, and it shows great camera performance and battery life. But it comes with more RAM and more storage, technically. Google do offer unlimited cloud storage if you buy a Pixel, because the devices themselves only have 64 gigs of storage and no expansion. And not to mention that the OnePlus is running the very latest Snapdragon 855. Another big thing that the OnePlus has going for it is its beautifully designed user interface. I think that the Oxygen OS is probably my favorite skin, because it's just so well thought out. It's lightweight and it looks great. I just put a video out about the Pixel 3a and it is genuinely one of my favorite mid-range phones that I've ever used. And right now, the only mid-range phone that I can see really competing with the 3a is this one. They did have the OnePlus 7 5G here at the launch as well. Same specifications as the OnePlus 7 Pro, but with a Qualcomm 5G modem on board. 5G will be rolling out from the 30th of May in the UK in six cities. 
London, Cardiff, Edinburgh, Belfast, Birmingham and Manchester. And 5G handsets are available to pre-order from EE now, including the OnePlus 7 5G. Anyway, that's it from me. I'm really looking forward to getting hold of a OnePlus 7 because I think this could be one of the best mid-range phones around. Let me know what you think of the OnePlus 7 in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the subscribe button, double tap notifications and smash the like button. Lots more phone reviews and comparisons on the way. If you're on social media, then follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. It's at BTEC or add me on Snapchat, david.btech. Thanks for watching. My name's David and this is BTEC.